What's up everybody, Big Tex here, back with another video. I'm really excited to show y'all my new Procreate pack, Big Tex Cyanotype. It comes with a bunch of assets to help you recreate that old school Cyanotype style flash all on your iPad. It has three paper textures, a liner brush, a shader brush, three border brush stamps, and a palette of cyans and whites. Basically everything you need to get this look on your iPad in Procreate. First, let's start off with what a cyanotype is. I'm no expert, but basically a cyanotype is where you draw an image and then you coat your paper with chemicals, sit it under a light, and it burns your image in white on the paper while everything around it will be blue. It's the method for making blueprints, but a lot of people make art with this technique too. When it comes to tattoo flash, a really famous example of this technique are the cyanotypes from Percy Waters. If you want to check out some of Water's stuff, I highly recommend this book called Designed by Percy Waters. It's got tons of great stuff. As you can see, I'll flip through a few pages and it's an awesome reference to use for this style of flash. For more contemporary flash using this technique, I recommend the Blue Book. This is a compilation of cyanotype flash from some of the best tattooers all over the world. And here's a few little examples of all the cool stuff in this book. I'll leave a link below to Belzell Books where you can buy both of these books. They have so many great books and I buy a majority of my reference from them. So go check them out. All right, let's check out what's included in this pack and how I made a flash page in this style. First, let's pull up our reference. For this, I used one of my own flash pages I made myself in black and white. So I'm gonna cheat on this step and just trace the outline of this with the cyan pencil since it's already ready to go. I'm gonna go to my brush library, go to Big Text Cyanotype, which comes with this pack, click the cyan pencil, and then I'm gonna go to the palette I made, Big Text Cyanotype, and I'm gonna click this white that's all the way to the right to do my outline. As you can see, there's some other blue tinted swatches. Here's an example of those different tints for outlining my artwork. When you're doing a cyanotype in a physical medium, depending on the chemicals, exposure time, your light, your drawing, all of that stuff, you might end up with lines that are less exposed and more bluish. So that's a small detail in case you don't want your stuff to be 100% pure white like this. You can make your lines a little darker and more tinted like this if that's the look that you're going for. All right, so let's trace our lines. Now that our lines are down, we could actually stop here if we wanted to. A lot of cyanotype flash is just lines anyways. All of the Percy Waters stuff in that book is pretty much just lines or fully filled in white sections. A lot of the stuff in the blue book is just lines too, but let's check out one page in particular. This page is by Tim Beck, and I really like this page because it has the little whips off of the wings and the body of the eagle, like it was maybe shaded with color pencil or spit shaded with watercolor. So to get this look, I'm gonna go to my brush library again, and underneath the pencil, I'm gonna go to the cyan shader. And all you have to do is use the pressure of your pencil, press down harder, and then lighter, 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 lighter and you get those little fades. Press down harder, lighter, lighter, lighter. Or you can pick a section, you can go really light the whole time. And then just kind of build it up. Go back over that part for more white at the bottom. You can do it that way. And you get those sort of traditional whip shade looking fades off of our lines. All right, so after I do all of those little gradients with my shader, I'm gonna get something like this, my fully finished artwork like you saw at the beginning of this video. Now let's check out some other final touches and tweaks that you can make with this pack. I'm gonna go in and explain the layers and blend modes. So disregard this test, that's just for the tutorial. Um, we have three little folders, let's go to paper one and let's expand that folder 
And don't pay attention to this stuff. This is just my drawings for the video. When you download it, this stuff won't be in there. You'll see a layer that says art here. And that's where you're gonna put your white artwork. That's what you're gonna draw on. And above that, we have these two layers, highlights and shadows. And you can adjust how these make your flash look by going into the blending mode. So I'm gonna click the little blending mode icon and on my highlights layer, if I bring this up, it's gonna make these little scuffs around the edges more apparent. It might be a little bit harder to see on the video because I'm not using the best camera, but you get the idea. If you bring it back down, it makes those scuffs a little bit more subtle. I can do the same thing on this shadows layer, but whenever I bring this up, it's gonna make the paper texture show through more and it's also going to imprint that texture on my white line. So this is a bit of an extreme example, but it kind of makes that texture more apparent. So let's bring that back down to about where it was. Below all of these layers, we have our paper layer, which is our paper texture. If I turn that off, it's just plain blue. With that, we sort of get that watercolor texture. I usually just don't mess with this and leave it as is. Under that, we have our cyan layer. Now for this layer, we can go to that palette and we can drag in different blues and it's gonna affect the overall tint of our whole artwork. And it's gonna make it darker or lighter, whether you want a more overexposed look, a more underexposed look. You can kind of mess with those tints or use your own color. It doesn't even have to be blue. So that's what the layers and blending modes do. You can adjust all of those. You can make your texture as subtle or as perfect and uniform as you want and really just give your flash your own look. And finally, for fun, I included some border stamps. So I have these three little borders. I'll just show you one of them. I'll make my artwork a little bit smaller. And then if you want a border, you can just stamp that on there, center it, and then you have a cool little border, or you can just stamp this and use it as a reference. You can trace over it with your own brush if you are going for a different look. So there you have it, my Big Tech Cyanotype Procreate Pack. I'll leave a link below to my website where you can pick it up along with my other Procreate brushes and assets. If you have any questions, leave a comment and make sure to tag me on your social media if you make any flash with this set so I can check it out. Thanks for watching.